All right, everybody, it's finally time to come back to YouTube. Welcome, this is gonna be my return setup tour video. We got Fortnite Chapter 3 coming out in a few days, but more importantly, there is the live event in-game tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST. I'm gonna be streaming that tomorrow. I'm probably gonna start half hour, 45 minutes before the actual event. So make sure to come back here to the channel for that. But I need to show you guys what videos are gonna look like next chapter, because we've completely changed it up, and I hope you guys will like it. I haven't been doing nothing on this break. We've been working pretty hard. On a few things, actually, we got a brand new apparel drop coming out as well, Power to Play. If you haven't seen the hype video on the Power Channel, what are you doing, go watch it. We put a lot of effort into that. And it's gonna go live 7 p.m. EST, right after the Fortnite event. So if you guys are looking to cop some fresh merch, even if it's summer or winter where you're at, we got something for everybody, but Let's jump into the setup tour, shall we? So the setup isn't final. We are gonna change some bits throughout the seasons uh, as we go. It's just the first iteration, but I think it looks pretty dope as it currently is. First up, we got Power Surfboard. This is actually the one that I got to surf. Really dope. It's still got a bunch of wax on it, so I might trade it for a fresh one, or it's, I don't know, it's got character. Of course, we are giving away two of these to any random people who purchase the Power to Play drop. There is a white one, there is a black one, there is also snowboards as well that you can win. Um, we went really crazy with this drop, but yeah, gonna have this in the back of all the videos. Got Otto Snake. Do you wanna get that, buddy? Is that your snake? Yeah, that's your snake. All right, well, that's how you get rid of the snake. So a big change in the way I'm gonna continue to make videos is that we've dropped the green screen. And I have, since I've ever made Fortnite videos, always had a green screen behind me. And I feel like it kind of disconnects me a little bit. It feels like I'm floating in space with a green screen. And I wanted to make an environment that had, you know, pieces of the story there as well. And so that's what you're gonna see a little bit here today. It's a little bit more of me in the background, and I'm gonna explain what's going on. Plus, we've got some pretty good state-of-the-art tech here that I want to show you as well. Videos next chapter are going to be sick. So jumping in a few things we got in the background here. Now we've got no green screen. We've got the Nickelodeon's Choice Awards that we won for uh, favorite Aussie content creator. Hey, let's go, Lannan. I beat you one year. Um, <laughs> so we want to put some stuff in the background, just some random accolades and, and things that we've done over the years. Actually, if you look down the lens, it like is a kaleidoscope. It's pretty crazy. Really cool. I used to watch Nickelodeon all the time. Except I didn't get slimed, so that kind of sucked. And then we got a little bit of memorabilia up here as well. We got the little codename Elf. Got to remember, that's the skin we wore for like three years of Fortnite before we obviously got the Icon skin. Also, like I'm not done filling this out yet. I want to get like a frame of the Icon skin concept art. That's coming. Uh, we got random YouTube play button in the back. Um, I stole it. Well, we didn't steal it. They kind of gave it away. Well, they didn't give them out. They just said, we're not going to stop you if you take one. So I took one, um, and now it's here in the background. Looks kind of dope. Next up, we got this bad boy. There was a point in time early on in like the 2018, 2017 grind where this is all I wanted, and then I got it, and I didn't even think about it again. But yeah, this is the uh, the diamond play button. You get this for 10 million subscribers. I don't know why I needed to remember that. Um, yeah. You should glean that. But yeah, look, it's dirty. There's been a lot of hands grabbing it, and that's mainly me. It comes in this cool box though. Um, I probably should have left it in there because it's, yeah, like literally corroded. But yeah, one of my biggest achievements on the platform, 10 million subscribers. Can we hit 15 mil? Like we are, we have been chilling at 14.7 for a while now. If you haven't hit subscribe, this many haven't you subscribed, get on that. But yeah, let's hit 15 mil for the new chapter. Next up, we got this little baddie. Um, Black Ops, one of my favorite games back in the day. And uh, for one of my birthdays, I think it was like 15, maybe 14, mom bought me a Prestige Edition, which came with the RCXD. One of my favorite like gifts, birthday presents I ever got. And I used to really like COD. And then they did the same thing 10 years in a row. Cool piece uh, from back in the day. So I'm gonna chuck that in one of the shelves. Next up, we got the big trophy, the big AO Pro-Am Championships. I'm really hoping AO do another one of these. They gotta let me fresh and entry run it back to get another one. I need like one right next to it. One of the most fun Fortnite events I've ever been to, obviously because we won and you have more fun if you win. But yeah, definitely um, a big memory on the channel, big achievement. So gotta make sure that's going in the setup. Next up on the shelves, we got this cool little piece. It's our little custom Xbox that we did for the launch of Power, my gaming organization. This was a little thing we did uh, for a giveaway where like three or four people won a custom Xbox or a custom PlayStation, but it is the old generation, so we might have to do a new one. Either way, it looks really cool. I'm really proud of how this one turned out. You know, we've come a long way. Oh, 
I'm really proud of where Powers come. That's kind of like the day one thing we did when we launched Powers. So it's just a little bit of memorabilia for all the amazing stuff that we're gonna do because we got some awesome stuff coming up. So I still haven't figured out where this one's gonna go, but this is one of my Pride and Joy collections. It's all of my favorite Pokemon cards in a frame. I don't know where I'm gonna put it in the room just yet. There's a bit of selection on some cards here, a lot of different sets. The last couple of years, I fell in love again with collecting Pokemon cards, um, specifically the graded cards. Honestly, we're not even touching the iceberg of uh, my other full Pokemon collection. If you want to see that one day, let me know. I might make a video on it, but these are like my favorite cards that I got. And um, yeah, they're like my favorite Pokemon and then my favorite card of the Pokemon. So a little bit of variety. We go all the way from 1999 to like, 2006. The only problem though is I don't have a spot for it yet in the setup. Like I said, setup's going to evolve as we go. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this because this is really cool, I thought. Like, look at Alakazam. He looks creepy. I don't even know they made cards like that. But yeah, a few baddies on that. Don't know where I'm going to put them just yet. So I'll put them there for now. So that's most of the background, but how does it look in a video? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, this is what my future videos are going to look like everything in the background haven't finalized what's gonna go in the back we may change the panels back look it's gonna evolve kind of like fortnite every video you're gonna come back different setup at least i hope but we don't just have the fresh layout we've also got some really cool stuff for future videos including a separate perspective for how we film so you'll be able to cut between that one and that one if i throw a controller at my screen at least we gotta capture it but we're not gonna throw a controller at the screen. Don't know if it's a good thing, we're gonna find out, but at least we're trying, right? Always wanna try something new. Hopefully it makes better content. That's the goal. For the setup, we did get a brand new PC. Uh, the gaming PC is now gonna have the latest generation i9, plus completely stacked throughout the board. Here's like the specs of what we picked up. And this was officially sponsored by no one. Um, we paid for it ourselves. But yeah, I'm just super excited to get right back into making Fortnite content again. I hope you guys are too, because the content we're gonna make in is gonna be next level. Alrighty guys, well that is the full setup tour. We even got Otto here as well to bid you farewell. See, I couldn't capture Otto in the green screen before. There's just so many positives to getting rid of the green screen. Hope you guys are excited for all the content we got coming in chapter three. And of course the live event tomorrow. Make sure to come back to the YouTube channel. Of course, hit subscribe to get that reminder as well. And of course, power to play 7 p.m. EST tomorrow as well. A big thank you to everybody out there who supports power supports me and uh, I'm ready to make some awesome content. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Fortnite chapter three, let's get it. Don't you reckon buddy? Chapter three, put the headset. Gamer dog, you gamer. You a gamer. That's why we play.